My bangs are so long today. I look like a little puppy. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you a video that I had like an idea to do when I watched this amazing YouTuber called Liv Does Her Makeup and she is hilarious and I came across one of her older videos and it is a video titled five makeup products that smell like ass but perform with class. I loved that idea. I watched some of the video, I thought it was hilarious and I basically decided to do my own spin on the concept but instead of just showing you products that smell like ass, I'm I'm gonna show you products that smell in general but are still great standout amazing products that I love so there's a lot of stuff in here there's a lot of smelly stuff that I have in my collection so if you want to see this video I don't know what I'll title it though I'm not sure what the title will be but I'll figure that out so I guess if you want to see these smelly products then of course keep on watching <laughs> So let's start off with something that smells nice, shall we? This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is um, a chocolate scented bronzer. Smells quite nice. It's one of their like, chocolate scented products and I absolutely love this. I think it's a great bronzer. I think it's a great product. Um, it performs really well. I feel like a really standout thing in this bronzer is the fact that it, the blendability is just so, so like up there. It's a really good blendable bronzer. It happens to be a really nice color on me. However, I do not use it as much just because I tend to like another bronzer better. And that bronzer will actually be in this video as well. Uh, I love it, but I'm not obsessed with it. But my sister, I know, absolutely loves it. And I actually had to get this from her bathroom because apparently she's keeping it now. But when this video is over, I will be returning it to her because she actually uses this bronzer a lot. So that's why I just like, have been sliding it over to her. But this is a great bronzer. It's smells nice and it performs really nice too so anyway moving on we're moving on with something that does not smell very nice at all this is the cody airspun loose face powder oh my jesus okay this is a powder that smells like a product that you'd find in your grandmother's makeup bag so i don't mean to say like that as like a negative um it's just you know like that's like sort of an like old musky smell some people like to joke that this smells like a grandma i don't know if i agree with that because i've smelled my grandma and she does not smell like this <laughs> oh my god it sounds so weird but anyway she like this is like a musky scent you know like it smells let me smell it right now it's it's hard to describe it smells like something like you would find like in like a attic that's from the 50s or something i don't know but this smells like really musky and it's really like it's really a strong scent uh so like if you open this or if like i start baking with this then you can smell it and actually got on my pants that's great but you can smell this if you're using it uh but it does wear off like after like about five ten minutes so you don't smell after that but this is one of the best powders i've ever tried in my entire life i have repurchased this powder many many times and i've actually used several of these up which is very difficult considering how much powder you get in these but this is one of the best powders ever it's very velvety it's very soft it's very very nice um, for baking especially and I do like to set with this powder as well and I absolutely love using it so the one that I have is naturally neutral they also have like a translucent version but anyway this is a great product it smells shitty but it's worth it because it is super inexpensive okay back to something that smells really nice I have this Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm and this is pretty basic I know so I'm just gonna breeze right through it but this is my favorite number one lip balm it is simple it is my favorite lip balm it's very inexpensive is a hundred percent natural and it works so well I always have several of these lying around everywhere because I need lip balm I do not like the feeling of dry lips so I use this pretty often and I absolutely love it and it smells like peppermint it smells really nice too so that's a nice bonus as well moving on i have something else it smells rather funny this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and this people have said that it smells like paint thinner i have not smelled paint thinner so i don't know but it smells it definitely smells it does not smell nice at all but it's a good foundation it's a good foundation and i'm actually wearing it today and as you can see it looks great on my skin and i didn't have to set it or anything like that it looks fantastic but it smells like paint thinner or so people have said but i like i can deal with the scent honestly i can really deal with it it's good i just want to tell you guys that this 
smells. But when you put it on your skin, um, you just wait a little bit and it doesn't smell anymore. But this definitely smells, but it's a good foundation. It's one of the best I own. And I recently decluttered a whole bunch of my foundations and I kept this. So that tells you a lot. So this next item is something that kind of like is in between for me. It smells, but I'm not sure if it smells good or if it smells bad. I do know that I've gotten used to it, but when I first got it, it did not smell nice. But this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and you guys know how much I love this. I'm wearing this today. It's a really good bronzer, and I absolutely love it. But it's supposed to smell like coconut body lotion, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But when I first got it, I definitely did not like the scent of this. And I was kind of surprised because I ordered this off of Amazon and I was like, is this a counterfeit product? Because it smelled so bad to me. And I ended up like getting rid of it. I'm not sure if I returned it or like just threw it away or not. But I ended up getting rid of it because I thought that it was counterfeit because it smelled so strong. And then I bought it off of CVS. And then I was like, it smells the same. And I was like, is this supposed to smell like this? Because everyone was like, it smells so good. And I'm like, it smells funky. It really does. Like, it smelled really funky to me. So I ended up, like, trying it. I ended up really liking it. And then I just used it all the time, like, pretty much every day. And I, now I'm kind of used to it. I mean, it smells, like, sort of nice. But, like, when I first got it, it really did not smell very nice at all. I really did not like the scent of it. It was not a nice feeling for me. So yes, this smells, um, I'm not sure if it smells good or bad. I guess bordering on the edge of good now that I've gotten used to it because I wear it every day. But yes, it does smell. I just want to let you guys know about this, but I still love it. Even more so than this one, actually. So moving on, I have some products that definitely did not smell very nice and but they perform amazingly this these are some elf lipsticks i have nicely nude and then i have runway pink and they come in like in the black packaging and these are really good lipsticks i think that they're really high quality but the only issue is is that they smell like play-doh kind of to me they smell like play-doh am i crazy but to me like they smell like play-doh the light is changing in here so much i'm very sorry but they're very buttery they're very soft very creamy i especially like this shade runway pink um yeah they're really beautiful colors but they smell weird so yeah that's another product that really does not have a nice scent at all but the quality is is really good Another product that smells rather nice, this is a Tarte highlighter, and this is in the shade Exposed, and it smells like chocolate, it really does, it smells like chocolate frosted cupcakes pretty much, and I really like the scent of it, and yeah, it's a pretty good highlighter, I don't use it nearly as often as I should, but it really is such a beautiful product, and I think it's a great one. So if you're looking for a highlighter, this one's a really nice option. Okay, so moving on, I kind of like have like a general, um brand thing. Like, this is a very general addition, I guess. The Morphe eyeshadows, they smell weird. I don't know. They kind of like smell... They smell kind of chemically. I feel like when you first get a Morphe eyeshadow palette, this is the my latest one, um, they smell really weird. And they smell... Yeah, they smell a little bit chemically. This one doesn't smell as much as it did when I first got it, but I'm not sure if it's the eyeshadow itself or the packaging, but I haven't had this with any other brand. But yeah, Morphe eyeshadows, they smell weird. This one is starting to fade, but when I first got it, it was super strong. It really smelled super chemically. Same thing with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, actually. This one also smelled really bad, but you guys know how much I love this. I think this is a really great palette, and I actually would say the same thing for this one. This is a Morphe Dare to Create palette. Man, it got so dark in here. This is really irritating. But yeah, this is the Morphe Dare to Create palette, and it's a good palette. It's one of my favorite, actually, and yeah, the quality is really good good the shade range is beautiful but yeah this palette smells weird but it does fade so yeah i have three liquid lipsticks two of them are the wet and wild liquid cat suit lipsticks these are liquid lipsticks and i absolutely love them i use them very often and they are really great products and i have two shades i have nudie patootie and then i have Rebel Rose. Let me just open one and smell it for you people. It smells funny. It really does. But like, it it smells it smells weird. I kind of have gotten used to it though, but when I first got these, like, I smelled it and I was like, uh, I can't describe it, but it just, it smells. And yeah, it's not as bad 
as this foundation that's kind of similar but honestly I've gotten used to it and it doesn't matter to me whatsoever because the formula on these is so good and I love the shades especially Nudie Patootie it is one of my favorite favorite liquid lipstick formulas and shades that I own it is a staple for me so I absolutely love these these are amazing I love them but they smell slightly funny but that's okay because the product is beautiful Last but not least, we have a Jeffree Star product. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. When I first got it, it reminded me of, like, the smell of a dentist's office. You know when they put, like, that like thing that covers your nose and then you're supposed to breathe in the laughing gas when they're doing, like, some sort of dental surgery on you? <sighs> this is what this smells like. And it's like some sort of, like, a sickly sweet smell. And whenever, like, I smell, I'm always like, I'm back at the dentist's office <laughs> because it smells like that. It really does. And it just reminds me of the dentist's office and that's not like a really nice feeling. But the product is good. The product itself, this is in the shade Mannequin, it's a good product and I really like this formula a lot. I hope you enjoyed this slightly unconventional video. I really just loved this idea and the original video that I found will be linked down below along with the channel of Liv Loves Her Makeup. So yes, uh, that is pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some good recommendations and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.